Hi, welcome to Kernstown Battlefield. I'm Larry Turner and this is our artillery annex. What I'd like to do is show you examples of the pieces of artillery we have here in the annex. First of all, we've got a six pound bronze Napoleon. This was used in the Mexican War and leading up to the first years of the Civil War till it was replaced by the 12 pound howitzer. And we also, this is on loan to us uh, but is actually a, a piece actually cast up in Massachusetts and was actually used in the war. Right next to it is a replica of the same gun, replica barrel, but on, a, on an actual Civil War chassis. We have ramming and sponge tools for each one. We have fuses to demonstrate how the gun was fired, grease cans, water cans, ammunition chests, the whole gamut except for the limber and except for the, the caisson. The next piece, we have a replica of a three inch ordnance rifle. This rifle fired about three times the range compared to the Napoleons and six of these were used here on the first battle of Kernstown over on Middle Road against Colonel Fulkerson's assault. And the last piece we have here is a 12 pound mountain howitzer. This was used in, by Civil War cavalry. This could be disassembled and loaded onto three mules and carried wherever the cavalry could go. Our president and another person own this howitzer and actually use it in firing competitions up at Fort Shenandoah. Over here, we have our, our artillery projectile display. These are on loan from Charles Barr. These were actually excavated from around the area. We have 10 pound Parrot, James and Schenkel examples. And we have all kinds of statistics, crew drills, uh, firing tables, and photographs and explanations of how these artillery pieces work. And our latest addition from Charles Barker, we have replica ammunition and I'm building a chest for it. We have a 12 pound, uh, um, 12 pound canister from a Napoleon. We have a 10 pound parrot canister and we have 10 pound parrot case and uh, shell. And we have 12 pound Napoleon case shots with some, with some replica uh, fuse plugs. We can use these for lectures and for uh, training and this for a pure explanation. Now. We also use this annex for dances. We use, we have Mother's Day teas and we have conventions or meeting rooms, uh, plenty of space under roof. But the crown jewel in this annex is our mural depicting the second battle of Kernstown. Now what happened, this mural shows from the perspective of General John Brown Gordon, Confederate Army, attacking Colonel Mulligan with his 23rd Illinois in front of the Pritchett House. The reenactors got in groups of three or four and stood in front of a green screen, took their photographs, they montaged all the photographs together, put those in front of a picture of the Pritchett House, and we reenact in, in photographs of the, what the Second Battle of Kernstown looked like when the Union Army was making its final stand uh, in front of the Pritchett House. This annex has a lot to offer, a lot to talk about, a lot to see. Hope to see you soon.